anyone who is level-headed is going to have a tough time believing that there is a huge half-man, half-moth creature going around terrorizing a small town in Chicago. However, according to many people, this is exactly what happened during 2017 when there were 55 sightings of the creature. It seems that the Mothman started appearing to residents of a small town in 1966 to warn about an upcoming catastrophe relating to the collapse of a bridge in the town of Point Pleasant, West Virginia. The story about the strange creature was told by John Keel in the novel with the title of The Mothman Prophecies and it was then made into a movie starring Richard Gere. Now, the Mothman creature has started to turn up in Chicago, and there have been numerous reports of the creature. A Fortean researcher, Lon Strickler, has compiled the sightings on his website, and he also wrote a book by the name of The Mothman Dynasty. The book takes a look at all of the sightings of the Mothman ever since the latter half of the 1970s. The new sightings of the Mothman started in February of 2017, and since that time Strickler has spent many hours interviewing witnesses who have claimed to have seen the Mothman and documented their stories. John Amitrano is one of the people who claimed that he saw the Mothman. Amitrano said that he was working late one night in a hangout in Chicago that was popular and he then went outside and saw something that he found difficult to explain. He said that he had seen a plane flying in the sky but there was something moving underneath it, very awkwardly. He said that it took on the appearance of what pterodactyls look like in illustrations, with a head that was slender and wings. He said that he did not think it was a bat or bird, as it did not have feathers or fur and did not fly like a bat or bird or anything he could think of. He said that the creature had legs that were muscular, a human-like shape, and the creature flew in a motion that was strange, swooping down and then undulating up and then back down. The sightings by Amitrano is just one of the 55 sightings that have taken the place of the Mothman in the Chicago region during 2017. Many of the reports have been the Mothman flying in the sky. However, there have been accounts by some people of the creature landing on the tops of vehicles and swooping down out of the sky onto people. Stickler said the group sightings of the Mothman are historical in cryptozoology terms. He went on to say, for one, it's happening in a region that is urban, and there have been so many sightings all at once. Strickler said that he uses the West Virginia Mothman sightings from the 1960s as a reference point, and he went on to say that he does not think that the creature in Chicago is warning residents of an impending disaster. He went on to say that the beings are not as aggressive as the one that was appearing in Point Pleasant. He went on to say that he thought overall there had only been one creature in the Point Pleasant region seen during the period. Psychologist Dr. David A. Gallo from the University of Chicago has undertaken research into memory and more so with how people actively reconstruct the past, sometimes inaccurately, and he does not think that the sightings are what Strickler is making them out to be. He went on to say that it was a selective sample and when people choose to report the sightings, the basis of data on which the paranormal researchers collect is self-report. This means that Strickler is not sampling random people to ask if they have seen the Mothman, he's only counting those who came forward and reported having seen the creature. Gallo went on to say that he does not deny that the people who claim to have seen the Mothman have seen something that they cannot explain. He said that there is a phenomenon where people have witnessed something, and he went on to say that if there are gaps or holes in that experience, the mind is often not able to fill in the gaps. Gallo pointed out that if something had been suggested to them as being a scenario that is plausible, like there being a mothman, the person might fill the gaps with that scenario. For now, the mothman remains something of a mystery. Perhaps people did see a strange moth-like creature as big as a man, or perhaps their minds just told them they did. <laughs>